One of the functions of the camera that you may want to turn off is the little red tally light so that when you're recording, you want to know that you are recording and there's red lights and indicators on the back of the camera, but you may not want your subject or people in front of the camera to know when you're rolling and when you're not. So I want to show you how to turn that off. So what you'll do is you'll go into the menu, you'll go down to other functions, and in option number one or menu number one, record lamp. Uh, this one is defaulting to both. In actuality, I just want to know from behind the camera when I'm rolling, I get the red light, so I'll change it to rear. Now, when I push the record button, no more tally light in the front, but I do get the little red light in the back. Next, I want to go over some of the audio properties of this camera and how you can route signals for different audio sources. First, you'll note in the bottom left corner of the display, you'll get levels for both channel one and channel two. Very important to note that these are the channels that you are recording to the tracks, more or less, in the camera, not the actual inputs that are being used. One of the things that we want to make sure that is not happening is limiter control. So in the menu, we'll go to audio setup, and check that audio ALC channel 1 and audio ALC channel 2 are indeed turned off. This is limiting control so that if the you know sound pressure in a certain area gets too strong that it's going to kind of clamp down on that signal a little bit. Uh, that can cause some unwanted noise or sound on your line. So better to set your levels overall a little bit lower than have this kick on when you don't want it to come on. The next thing we'll take a look at is audio signal routing. So we have to differentiate between the inputs, which is the actual sources coming into the camera, and the channels, which are the tracks that we're assigning those signals to. So input one is the XLR connector at the top of the camera near where the short shotgun mic plugs in. Uh, that's input one. We could put any microphone we want, any XLR. Maybe it is even the wireless audio receiver. Uh, most often, if it's a microphone, it's going to be in the mic level category. And if it's a microphone that requires phantom power, we're going to flip it down to plus 48V. So that short shotgun microphone, if you're mounting it and connecting it to input one, definitely needs phantom power. Other microphones do not. Uh, if you're getting a feed from a mixer or some other audio device, chances are it's going to be line level if you plug into that. So for now, let's say we're using the short shotgun microphone and we'll put it on a mic with phantom power enabled. Uh, then we have to choose where we want uh, input two to be set to. So input two is the XLR at the back bottom uh, of the camera. Again, same options, uh, mic level, line level, or uh, mic with phantom power. So let's say for uh, the sake of argument, we're not using anything in input two at the moment, so we'll just leave that there on mic uh, with no issue. Now we have to route these signals and route our microphones to the tracks of the channels recording on the camera. So in typical RTF fashion, we want our primary audio microphone to be on channel two. That's just what we tell people to do. So we're going to have channel two be our short shotgun mic. If you recall, we plugged the short shotgun mic into input one. So we're going to say channel two needs to be input one which is this input here. We set that with the phantom power. It's all set and ready to go. Our channel two, that's our channel two. Our channel one is going to be our internal microphone at the front of the camera. It's not plugged into either input one or input two. It's just the mic built in and that's what we get. So that when we are using our camera, now through this configuration, we have full manual control with these uh, dials here of Channel 1 recording the internal microphone, channel 2 recording input 1, and input 1 set to microphone with phantom power to correspond to our short shotgun microphone mounted at the top front of the camera plugged into input 1. So if you can follow these logical steps, you'll be able to route audio very easily as you use this camera.